working nicely. Hey guys, Jacques here. I want to talk about the progress I'm making on my wall watch clock. <laughs> so here it is. So this early prototype, I have a ratio of 1 to 4 from the drum to the minute, then 1, one to 60 from the minute to the second, and 1 to 4 from second to the escape wheel. And that gives me a ratio of 1 to 960. So basically, I need 1,000 times more torque for the drum than I need to the escape wheel. That's a lot. My final one, I have a one to three between the drum to the second. So one to 60 to the second, and then one to three to the escape wheel. One to three that I have from this second indicator to the escape wheel here. And that will give me a ratio of 1 to 540 between the drum to the escape wheel. So that's half. So 1000 here, 500 here. So that, that makes it more efficient. Makes a better use of how much weight I can use to power the clock. And then with adding a pulley that will be a clock that can go over for 24 hours. And then the reason I, why I did the, this design the way it is, is in the future I plan to put a spring here instead of the weight driven and see how, if I see if I can make it work. So when I push the stem, this, I push in, and Rewind and then put it back in the middle. The weight can pull it out. When I pull the stem out, you can adjust the time. The minute gear is in the middle, attached to this pinion is the, we call it the cannon pinion in a watch. And then this is the hour gear. So I, le I left this side more open, so I have more access to the escapement itself for tuning, just watching. And actually, I might even move the escapement in front of this gear at the same level as the hands. So. Looking good. And for testing the escapement itself, I made this jig prototype open frame. The string just coiled up here on the. So here I have about 1.5 kilo of weight. You can just attach to that string. And there goes the escape point. I have a 1 to 3 ratio here between the second, where the second indicator will come. So that's 90 beats per minute. It's pretty slow for a watch, but for wall watch. You can see that with that 1.5 kilo weight, there's a nice swing, but almost 180 degree at the balance wheel. And I have 640 milliseconds between the beat, and it's 666. So I'm getting a little quite close. I just need to add a little bit more weight on the balance wheel and it, it will be right. The 
interesting thing. I did a try with model 1.2 gears here, and it was actually not as good as a 1.5, model 1.5 gear. Bigger gear are more efficient. Interesting. I did a try with model 1.2 from this gear to the escape wheel but it didn't work as well as the 1.5 that I'm using here so I found out that bigger gears have had less friction it was quite interesting that was one of my earlier balance wheel and it just spins on the 2mm piano wire and it was not that good. So I found some small bearings that will come in here. It's 2 by 5 millimeter bearings. You can see the bearings here. And that gives it have really very little friction so the balance wheel comes back and centers itself with the anchor so hope you like the video please like subscribe and i'll see you in the next one for the progress on this wall clock wall watch clock <laughs> Bye.